mom. I just got here at BMT. Here's my address. First PT test today. I didn't think I could run that fast. We have to do so many push-ups. Yourself, let's go. Push it. But it hasn't been all bad. I'm actually starting to make a lot of new friends. Hearing my name during mail call keeps me going. Getting letters from you means the world to me. It really made the weeks fly by. We finally got our names on our uniforms. I never thought I could put an M16 together so fast. The gas chamber was the worst experience so far. I got my dog tags today. It really makes me feel like I'm a part of something much bigger than myself. It has not been easy, but we're so close to being done. I've screwed up some things, but my women have really helped me out. We've learned so much. Everything's going by so fast now. We've become a real team. When we first got here, we made a lot of mistakes, but now our flight's really coming together. We've passed all our final exams, and we are so ready to become airmen. I can't wait to see you. 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 We can't wait to see you.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Staff Sergeant William Klein from the 321st Training Squadron, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today's event is a celebration of the remarkable achievements of these graduating airmen. It is also a ceremony that both teaches and appreciates our United States military heritage. Over the last eight and a half weeks, the airmen before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with the foundation to serve in the world's greatest United States Air Force and the United States Space Force. Once these airmen leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in their unique specialties. They will then transition on to numerous bases around the world, some working directly with our sister services. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. These airmen before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. Please stand for the entrance of our official party and the playing of the national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Sneed. 
picture, picture custom, I invite you to pray with me. Picture custom, I invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, we thank you for this day of life. We gather to celebrate on this special day of achievement, and we ask for your blessing on these young men and women who have tirelessly worked many difficult weeks and hours and have given so much of themselves to arrive at this moment. They did not arrive here today on their own. We thank you for their families and the sacrifices they made to make this day possible. We ask your blessings upon their families and the leaders and instructors who have dedicated their time and talents to train and prepare these warrior airmen to lead. We ask your protection and guidance in the lives of these airmen. Develop in them your divine gifts of patience, compassion, and the drive to excel. Give them and us the mindset and the humility to continue to seek our dependence on you. Instill in them a lasting commitment to integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all things. May they lead, learn, and grow throughout their lives and have a curiosity to never settle for average. Finally, we ask your blessings and protection upon the men and women serving around the world, deployed in harm's way, protecting their freedoms. We ask all these things in your almighty name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Sneed. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Michael Newsom. The superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Leary Gaitan. The Commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Lucretia Merkel. The Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Thomas Gary. We would like to give our viewers at home a quick orientation of which, where each flight is positioned. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 263, led by Staff Sergeant Thomas Jenkins, hometown Anderson, Indiana. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 264, led by Technical Sergeant Zachary Schwartz, hometown Mundelein, Illinois. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 267, led by Technical Sergeant Travis Wool, hometown Hermiston, Oregon. We would now like to take this opportunity to recognize basic military training's most physically fit male. This top physical training airman has proven himself amongst his peers by exceeding BMT's rigorous physical fitness requirements on his fitness assessment in all areas, run, push-ups, and sit-ups. Today's top male airman has achieved scores of 100 and holds the fastest run time in BMT. Our most physically fit male airman is from the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 263, Airman Basic, Morgan Schenberg. He impressively completed the one and a half mile run in eight minutes and two seconds, in addition to 77 sit-ups and 89 push-ups. How about a nice round of applause for our top PT Airman? At this time, we would like to recognize Basic Military Training's most outstanding performer. This airman has surpassed all others in the challenges of training and earned the distinction of being the top graduate of this Basic Military Training class. 
This individual has been selected as the number one out of 705 graduates. Colonel Michael Newsom, Commander, Basic Military Training, and Chief Master Sergeant Leary Gaetan, Superintendent, Basic Military Training, will make the presentation. They will be accompanied by top graduate, Military Training Instructor, Technical Sergeant Travis Wool. The top graduating airman of this class is from the 321st Training Squadron, Airman Basic, Garrett Gray. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for this exceptional airman? At this time, we would like to recognize the top flight for this graduating class. Seven thirty seventh Training Group, United States Air Force, Joint Base, San Antonio, Lackland, Texas. Subject, Commander's Excellent Streamer. The Commander's Excellent Streamer is awarded to the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 267 for their significant accomplishments demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of 17 February 2020 through 9 April 2020. Signed, Michael Newsom, Colonel, United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Gary. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, via live stream, and congratulations to our new airmen. Airmen, you're joining a team of professionals dedicated to integrity, service, and excellence. The airman's coin you received after the basic Expeditionary Airman Skills Training Course may seem as a simple coin but it carries with it the history and heritage of our great Air Force. The men and women who have come before you have airlifted troops and supplies into the jungles of Vietnam, executed precision airstrikes in the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan. They've delivered humanitarian aid, aid in villages in both Africa and South America. They've launched missiles and flown satellites, defended airstrips and strengthened partnerships. They've been to the North Pole, the South Pole, and everywhere in between. With the title of Airman, you join the most powerful fighting force this planet has ever seen. In the eyes of the world, you must remain motivated through all adversity, resilient in the face of tragedy, and above all, be the personification of air dominance. Because rest assured, enemies of our way of life are watching and waiting for you to waver. But they're not the only ones watching. Veterans, families, and the American public will look to you in times of trouble because they've seen those who have come before you 
and trust that you will live up to the expectations and the example set by those great heroes. You're joining a heritage rich with valor, honor, and immense air power. In the past 72 years, we've become the premier air force the world has ever seen. But we can and will be better, and you will take us there. We have the utmost faith in you because every time you recite the Airman's Creed, you adamantly proclaim that you will not fail, and we believe you. So with that, I leave you with congratulations, Airman, for a job well done. Thank you. At this time, I ask that all airmen, past and present, please stand as a sign of unity as the new airmen recite the Airmen's Creed. I am an American airman. I would like to take this moment to introduce the commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Let me begin by saying to the families, I can only imagine how disappointed you are. You can't be physically here to support your loved ones. Eight and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with our nation's treasure, your sons and daughters. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world's greatest Air Force. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for your support and encouragement, but more importantly, thank you for your trust. It is my great honor to hold a ceremony introducing airmen from the 321st Training Squadron as our nation's newest airmen. First, I want to talk about a group of people that made this day possible for so many young Americans. To military training instructors, thank you. You have invested yourselves in every individual on your flight and have molded them into the airmen of character that embody our, our core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Through your leadership, you have inspired each airman in your flight, and as a result, you personally ensure our newest airmen embody our hope for the future of our nation's security. The airmen standing before us today are your legacy. You should be proud of the fact that you make our Air Force better with every airman you train. And to our newest airmen, thank you for your willingness to answer our nation's call. You have completed eight and a half weeks of rigorous training. Most importantly, you learned our core values of integrity, service, and excellence. These foundational skills and values will guide you through your technical training as you learn how, to, how, how you learn, hone, and unique skills of your career field. Soon you will join your first operational units and begin defending America in the air and space domains. Ladies and gentlemen, you have become your nation's warriors and we're counting on you. I charge you to be true to your calling as airmen. Live our core values and never stop growing, learning, and innovating. If you do, we will always remain the world's greatest air and space force. Congratulations. Airmen, I have one final question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest air and space force? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Lieutenant Colonel Merkel will now administer the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States 
against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and uniform code of military justice. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome to the world's greatest air and space force. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of the Air Force song and the departure of our official party.
and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today's event is a celebration of the remarkable achievements of these graduating airmen. It is also a ceremony that both teaches and appreciates our United States military heritage. Over the past eight and a half weeks, these airmen before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with the foundation to serve in the world's greatest United States Air Force and the United States Space Force. Once these airmen leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in their unique specialties. They will then transition onto numerous bases around the world, some working directly with our sister services of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. These airmen before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. Please stand for the entrance of our official party and the playing of the national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Sneed. If it's your custom, I invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, we thank you for this day of life. We gather to celebrate the achievement and accomplishment of these young men and women who have tirelessly worked for many difficult weeks and have given so much of themselves to arrive at this moment. <clears throat> they did not arrive here on their own. We thank you for the families and the sacrifices they made to make this day possible. We thank you for the instructors and leaders who have dedicated their time and talents to train and prepare these men and women to lead. We ask you to go with them as they depart for tech school and then operational world. Protect and guide them, direct them all the days of their lives. Develop in them your divine gifts of patience, compassion, and the drive to excel. Instill in them a lasting commitment to integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all things. May they lead, learn, and grow throughout their lives and have a curiosity to never settle for average. And finally, we ask your blessings and protection upon the men and women serving around the world, protecting our freedoms. We ask all these things in your mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Sneed. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Michael Newsom. The Superintendent, 
Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Larry Gaitan. The Commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Lucretia Merkel. The Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Thomas Gary. We would like to give our viewers at home a quick orientation of where each flight is positioned. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 268, led by Staff Sergeant Gary Schulte, hometown Wichita Falls, Texas. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 269, led by Staff Sergeant Samuel Anderson, hometown Albuquerque, New Mexico. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 270, led by Technical Sergeant Brandon Campbell, hometown Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Gary. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, watching via live stream, and congratulations to our new airmen. Airmen, you're joining a team of professionals dedicated to integrity, service, and excellence. The Airman's Coin that you received after successfully completing the basic Expeditionary Airman Skill Training course may seem as a simple coin, but it carries with it the history and heritage of our great Air Force. The men and women who have come before you have airlifted troops and supplies into the jungles of Vietnam, executed precision airstrikes in the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan, airlifted humanita humanitarian aid to both Africa and South America. They've launched missiles and flown satellites, defended airstrips, strengthened partnerships. They've stood on the North Pole, South Pole, and everywhere in between. With the title of Airman, you join the most powerful fighting force the planet has ever seen. In the eyes of the world, you must remain motivated through all adversity, resilient, in the face of tragedy, and above all, be the personification of air dominance. They're not the only ones watching, though. Veterans, families, and the American public will look to you in times of trouble because they've seen those who have come before you, and they trust that you'll live up to the example of those great heroes. You're joining a heritage rich with valor, honor, and immense power. In just 72 years, we have become the premier Air Force in the world. But we can and will be better, and you will take us there. We have the utmost faith in you because every time you recite the Airman's Creed, you adamantly proclaim that you will not fail, and we believe you. So with that, I leave you with congratulations, Airman, for a job well done. At this time, I ask that all airmen past and present please stand as these new graduates recite the Airman's Creed. I am an American Airman. I am a woman. I am anxious and anxious all. I am an American Airman. I am anxious and anxious I am faithful to the proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor.
this time, I'd like to introduce my wingman, the commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Let me begin by saying to the families, I can only imagine how disappointed you are that you can't be, he be physically here to support your loved ones. Eight and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with our nation's treasure, your sons and daughters. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world's greatest Air Force. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for your support and encouragement, but more importantly, thank you for your trust. It is my great honor to hold a ceremony introducing airmen from the 321st Training Squadron as our newest airmen. First, I want to talk about a group of people that made this day possible for so many young Americans. To the military training instructors, thank you. You have invested yourselves into every individual on your flight and have molded them into airmen of character that embody our core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Through your leadership, you have inspired each airman in your flight, and as a result, you personally ensure our newest airmen embody our hope for the future of our nation's security. The airmen standing before us today are your legacy. You should be proud of the fact that you make our Air Force better with every airman you train. And to our newest airmen, thank you for your willingness to answer our nation's call. You have completed eight and a half weeks of rigorous training. Most importantly, you learn our core values of integrity, service, and excellence. These foundational skills and values will guide you through your technical training as you learn and hone the unique skills of your career field. Soon you will join your first operational units and begin defending America in air and space domains. Ladies and gentlemen, you have become your nation's warriors and we're counting on you. I charge you to be true to your calling as airmen, live our core values, and never stop growing, learning, and innovating. If you do, we will always remain the world's greatest air and space force. Congratulations. Airmen, I have one final question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest air and space force? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Lieutenant Colonel Merkel, will you now administer the oath of enlistment? Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that will bear true faith and allegiance to the same? and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome to the world's greatest Air and Space Force. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of the Air Force song and the departure of our official party.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Technical Sergeant Leslie Moore from the 321st Training Squadron, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today's event is a celebration of the remarkable achievements of these graduating airmen. It is also a ceremony that both teaches and appreciates our United States military heritage. Over the last eight and a half weeks, the airmen before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with the foundation to serve in the world's greatest United States Air Force and United States Space Force. Once these airmen leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn their skills needed to perform in their unique specialties. They will then trans transition on to numerous bases around the world, some working directly with our sister services. Of the hundreds of thousands of airmen, American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. These airmen before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. Please stand for the entrance of our official party and the playing of the national anthem. It's your custom and invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, we thank you for this day of life and your many blessings. Thank you for this opportunity to gather and celebrate the accomplishment of these young men and women. They've worked tirelessly many difficult weeks and hours and given much of themselves to arrive at this moment. Thank you for their families and friends, and the sacrifices they made to make this day possible. We're grateful for our military leaders and instructors who have dedicated their time and talents to train and prepare these warrior airmen to lead. We ask your protection and guidance on, these, on the lives of these airmen as they head to tech school and then operational soon after, developing them your divine gifts of patience, compassion, and drive to excel. Give them the mindset and humility to seek the, your de the dependence on you and trust you in all things. Instill in them a lasting commitment to integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all things. May they lead, learn, and grow throughout their lives and have a curiosity to never settle for average. We also ask your blessings and protection upon all of our men and women serving around the world. We thank you for this day and your many blessings. In your almighty name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Sneed. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio Lackland, Texas, Colonel Michael Newsom. The Superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Leary Guyton. The Commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Lucretia Merkel.
the Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Thomas Gary. We would like to give our viewers at home a quick orientation of where each flight is positioned. From the 324th Training Squadron, Flight 261, led by Technical Sergeant Ryan Galbraith, hometown, Southern Pines, North Carolina. From the 324th Training Squadron, Flight 262, led by Technical Sergeant Andrew Chang, hometown, Hagerston, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent, 321st Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Gary. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, watching via live stream, and congratulations to our new airmen. Airmen, you're joining a team of professionals dedicated to integrity, service, and excellence. The airman's coin you received after com successfully completing the basic expeditionary airman skill training may seem as a simple coin, but it carries with it the history and heritage of our great Air Force. The men and women who have come before you <clears throat> have airlifted troops and supplies in the jungles of Vietnam executed precision airstrikes in the deserts of Af Afghanistan and Iraq, delivered humanitarian aid to villages in both Africa and South America. They've launched missiles and flown satellites. They've defended airstrips and strengthened partnerships. They have stood on the North Pole, the South Pole, and everywhere in between. With the title of Airman, you join the most powerful fighting force the planet has ever seen. In the eyes of the world, you must remain motivated through all adversity, resilient in the face of tragedy, and above all, be the personification of air dominance. Because, the re because rest assured, enemies of our way of life are watching and waiting for you to waver. But they're not the only ones watching, though. Veterans, families, and the American public will look to you in times of trouble because they've seen those who have come before you and trust you will live up to the example set by those great heroes. You're joining a heritage rich with valor, honor, and immense air power. In 72 years, we have become the premier air force in the world, but we can and will be better, and you will take us there. We have the utmost faith in you because every time you recite the Airman's Creed, you adamantly proclaim that you will not fail, and we believe you. Congratulations, Airman. At this time, please stand as a sign of unity as all airmen, past and present, recite the Airman's Creed. I am an American airman. I At this time, I'd like to welcome my wingman, the Commander, 321st Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Let me begin by saying to the families, I can only imagine how disappointed you are that you can't be physically here to support your loved ones. Eight and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with our nation's treasure, your sons and daughters. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world's greatest Air Force. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for your support and encouragement, but more importantly, thank you for your trust. It is my great honor to hold the ceremony introducing 
airmen from the 324 train squadron as our nation's newest airmen. First, I want to talk about a group of people that made this day possible for so many young Americans. To the military train instructors, thank you. You have invested yourselves into every individual in your flight and have molded them into the airmen of character that embody our core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Through your leadership, you have inspired each airman in your flight, and as a result, you personally ensure our newest airmen embody our hope for the future of our nation's security. The airmen standing before us today are your legacy. You should be proud of the fact that you make our Air Force better with every airman you train. And to our newest airmen, thank you for your willingness to answer our nation's call. You have completed eight and a half weeks of rigorous training. Most importantly, you learned our Air Force core values of integrity, service, and excellence. These foundational skills and values will guide you through your tactical training as you learn and hone the unique skills of your career field. Soon you will join your first operational units and begin defending America in the air and space domains. Ladies and gentlemen, you have become your nation's warriors, and we're counting on you. I charge you to be true to your calling as airmen, live our core values, and never stop growing, learning, and innovating. If you do, we will always remain the world's greatest air and space force. Congratulations. Airmen, I have one final question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest air and space force? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Lieutenant Colonel Merkel will now administer the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your full name. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? That will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. On behalf of the Duke Commander and Superintendent, congratulations and welcome to the world's greatest air and space force. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Merkel. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of the Air Force song and the departure of the official party.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Technical Sergeant Megan Owens from the 323rd Training Squadron, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today's event is a celebration of the remarkable achievements of these graduating airmen. It is also a ceremony that both teaches and appreciates our United States military heritage. Over the last eight and a half weeks, the airmen before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with the foundation to serve in the world's greatest United States Air Force and United States Space Force. Once these airmen leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in their unique specialties. They will then transition onto numerous bases around the world, some working directly with our sister services. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. These airmen before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. Please stand for the entrance of our official party and the playing of the national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Snead. Victor Custom, I invite you to pray with me. <clears throat> Almighty God, we gather to celebrate the completion of this challenging training for these new warrior airmen and the world's greatest and most prominent Air Force. We thank you for everyone who played a role to make this day and ceremony a reality, for the hard work and determination of the airmen, for the, de the dedication, devotion, and skill of the MCIs and staff for the love and support of family and friends. We ask your blessings on these airmen as they start a new journey. Walk with them, O oh Lord, in the days ahead. May they face each new day with confidence and vigor, never to turn from its difficulties, never to evade its challenges, and never to escape its duties. I pray they'll be mindful of the responsibilities placed upon them, and they will live out the core values in both their personal and professional lives. In all the days ahead, give them your divine gifts of patience, compassion, and the drive to excel. May we always continue to depend on you for strength and guidance. Father, we ask your blessings upon our men and women serving around the world, defending our freedoms. In these things we ask your name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Sneed. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio Lackland, Texas, Colonel Michael Newsom. The Superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Larry Guyton. The Commander, 323rd Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Ray Van. 
the Superintendent, 323rd Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Mark Corion. We would like to give our viewers at home a quick orientation of where each flight is positioned. From the 323rd Training Squadron, Flight 257, led by Staff Sergeant Michael Maynor, hometown Jacksonville, Florida. From the 323rd Training Squadron, PT Excellence Flight 258, led by Master Sergeant Nathan Coley, hometown Pomona, California. From the 323rd Training Squadron, Flight 259, led by Staff Sergeant Denise Tammy, hometown Cleveland, Ohio. From the 323rd Training Squadron, PT Excellence Flight 260, led by Technical Sergeant Christopher Hawkins, hometown Nashville, Tennessee. We would now like to take this opportunity to recognize basic military training's most physically fit female. This top physical training airman has proven herself amongst her peers by exceeding BMT's rigorous physical fitness requirements on her fitness assessment in all areas, run, push-ups, and sit-ups. Today's top female airman has achieved a score of 100 and holds the fastest, one of the fastest run times in BMT. Our most physically fit female airman is from the 323rd Training Squadron, Flight 260, Airman Basic, Camilla Wren. She impressively completed the 1.5 mile run in 9 minutes and 44 seconds, in addition to 68 sit-ups and 48 push-ups. Let's have a round of applause for this outstanding airman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent, 323rd Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Corey Olin. Colonel Newsom, Chief Gatton, thank you for coming for joining the Mustangs today. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, watching via live stream, and congratulations to our graduates. Airmen, you are joining a team of professionals dedicated to integrity, service, and excellence. The Airmen's coin you receive after you successfully completed the basic expeditionary Airmen skills training beast may seem as a simple coin, but it carries with it the history and heritage of our airmen. The men and women who have come before you have airlifted troops and supplies in the jungles of Vietnam, executed precision airstrikes in the desert of Iraq and Afghanistan, delivered humanitarian aid to the villages in Africa and South America. They have launched missiles and flown satellites defended airstreets and strengthened partnerships. They have stood on the North Pole, the South Pole, and everywhere in between. What you need to know is this. You have joined the profession of arms, the less than 1% to wear the uniform, 
you have chosen to walk the path of our veterans who defended this country with their lives, and you have answered our nation's call. It's not easy, and I know, but I ask you to stay strong, keep it going, and stay true to our core values that define our characters. I promise one thing to you, you will not be alone. Congratulations, job well done. At this time, please stand in the sound of unity as our Amen, as our leader our Amen, past and present, and we study Amen's creed. I am an American Airman. This time, it's my pleasure to introduce my wingman, the commander of the 223rd Union Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Van. Let me begin, begin by saying to the families, I can only imagine how disappointed you are that you can't be physically here to support your loved ones. Eight and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with your nation's treasure, your sons and daughters. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world's greatest air force. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your support and encouragement, but more importantly, thank you for your trust. To our Mustangs, I am proud of each and every one of you. Since arriving at basic military training, you have transformed into world-class airmen who are disciplined and completely devoted to our core values, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. You are prepared for what America will require of you. In front of me stand 200 razor-sharp, lethal, and ready airmen, primed to serve our nation and continue a legacy of military excellence. You have proven to be innovative and dedicated airmen, prepared to defend the United States Constitution. You have proven to be more than the common American. I know just how far you've come to get to this point, and I promise you will never be the same. Congratulations on who you've become, and I look forward to seeing you where the Air and Space Force take us. With that, I just have one last question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest Air and Space Force? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Lieutenant Colonel Van will now administer the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to Regulation and Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. On behalf of the Group Commander and Superintendent, congratulations on and welcome to the world's greatest Air and Space Force. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Van. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of the Air Force song and the departure of our official party.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Staff Sergeant Dean Mitchell from the 326 Training Squadron, and I'll be your narrator for today's ceremony. Today's event is a celebration of the remarkable achievements of these graduating airmen. It is also a ceremony that both teaches and appreciates our United States military heritage. Over the last eight and a half weeks, the airmen before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warrior airmen with the foundation to serve in the world's greatest United States Air Force and the United States Space Force. Once these airmen leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in their unique specialties. They will then transition onto numerous bases around the world, some working directly with our sister services. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. These airmen before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in the future endeavors. Please stand for the entrance of our official party and the playing of the national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Sneed. Future custom, I invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, we gather to celebrate the completion of this challenging training for these new warrior airmen and the world's greatest and most prominent air and space force. We thank you for everyone who played a role to make this day and ceremony reality, <clears throat> for the hard work and determination of the airmen, for the ded dedication, devotion, and skill of the MTIs and staff and for the love and support of family and friends. We ask your blessings on these airmen as they start a new journey. Walk with them in the days ahead. May they face each day with confidence and vigor, never to turn from his difficulties, never to evade his challenges, and never to escape his duties. I pray they will be mindful of the responsibilities placed upon them, and they will live out the core values in both their personal and professional lives. In all the days ahead, give them your divine gifts of patience, compassion, and the drive to excel and when we always continue to depend on you for strength and guidance. And finally, we ask your blessings on those serving around the world, defending our freedoms. In your almighty name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Sneed. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Michael Newsom. The Superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Larry Gaitan. The Commander, 326 Training Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Eric Bine. The Superintendent, 
326 Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Keith Castile. We would like to give our viewers at home a quick orientation of where each flight is positioned. From the 326 Training Squadron, Academic Excellence, Flight 265, led by Technical Sergeant Garen Hunt, hometown Detroit, Michigan. From the 326 Training Squadron, Flight 266, led by Technical Sergeant John Lee, hometown Clarendon, Arkansas. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent, 326 Training Squadron, Chief Master Sergeant Keith Castile. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, watching via live stream, and congratulations to our graduates. Airmen, you are joining a team of professionals dedicated to integrity, service, and excellence. The Airmen's coin you receive after you successfully completed the basic expeditionary Airman Skills Training Beast may seem as a simple coin, but it carries with it the history and heritage of our Airmen. The men, the men and women who have come before you have airlifted troops and supplies into the jungles of Vietnam, executed precision airstrikes in the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan, delivered humanitarian aid to villages in Africa and South America. They have launched missiles and flown satellites, defended airstrips, and strengthened 